See if Gary Woodland can move to under par. Well, the advantage of being able to use a backstop is you have that slope behind the hole, but it makes those putts pretty quick down the hill. But that's well done there from Gary Woodland. At the 18th, this is Joel Damon in his second up the hill. Almost like a so Matt Wallace hole out from almost this point yesterday. Much more generous back left hole location today. Oh, excellent shot there from Joel. At 16, this is Ryan Fox. Putting down the hill, slightly left to right. Oh, yeah, two shots back is Ryan in New Zealand with, with four early birdies at this event. 211. Gary Woodland second on the way. Hardest hole on the golf course, the 11th. Oh, wow. Oh, no, he didn't. Woodland hooping it at the 11th. Bernie Eagle, he's three under through two on the backside. Here's his second to the front right hole location. That's really good. At the ninth, S.H. Kim in the right rough. But not the thick stuff, Johnson. No, big drive down that right side. And this may actually help him control the spin a little easier. Something like that. Exactly. Well done. There's Pendrith on the 10th. Pretty roll. When we question a little bit his decision off the tee, and he's the only one walking off with the birdie here, so that's a nice way to start the back nine for Taylor. To 12. Another Canadian, Adam Svensson. Putting back up the hill. To even par once again. There's Adam. Got his first season to go at the RSM, excuse me. I was going to say the same thing. Here we go. <laughs> Taylor gets that part putt to drop. First look today at the rink. Gary oh, Woodland, the hottest man on this back nine. In kind of middle left today. Very nice if that holds on. Yep. Driving in nice and low with some spin. That's really good. Uh, that is more like it. 342 yard drive and he's got less than four feet. And Mike Weir, the Canadian, gets off the cut line and moves the one under par. And Johnson had said he could maybe make a little bit of a run here after turning it three under par. And look at that, taking advantage of that fourth hole. Everybody's making birdies there. You have to do it if you want to win this tournament. Five iron. Nice shot by Mike Weir. Yeah, that'll get him going. Amazing how much Mike still works so hard on his game. Back at 14, feet in the fairway, golf ball in the first cut for Taylor. Imagine hitting it 322 off the tee, Johnson, and being first to play. <laughs> Ooh. But might be last to putt. Well, that's what he needs with five holes left. Another one on a great line. Like you said, Cole, here, the front of the screen kicks towards it as well. Oh, takes the hop and releases. I mean, how beautiful is that? Such a cool little shot. Just kept that club face open through impact on a short little follow through. Use that little kick off that ridge you were talking about, Cole. Uphill, just a hair right to left. Can really go ahead and hit it with pace. Like to see this go a couple feet by if it misses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. They let me in, is what he was saying there. Nice birdie for Tom. When Ludwig comes out and plays that well after receiving that exemption. That's better for the product. Yeah, for sure. Here's Nick Taylor hacking it out of that fescue. Look at this play. Go in. My goodness. Fantastic from there, guys. Oh, Colt, that is so good. So you're saying there's a chance. 
At the 18, that's Zach Blair. Playing very well. Good golf course for him as well. Really reward someone who finds the fairway. Is that any good? Ryan Fox for Eagle and a share of the lead. Oh, what a great putt, though. Miss on the high side with perfect speed. Tap in birdie. It's had a couple top four finishes this season at the Zurich Classic, the team event, and was T4 Myrtle Beach Classic. Adam Scott, will this be the first birdie? And it finally happens. And that's a side relief, too. When you're headed to the 18th, you got that one little bit of a cushion now. Fox, other side of the golf course, second and five. Really good spot off the tee. Had the whole length of the green to work with. And <laughs> hold on. I mean, another two yards, and that goes down. A massive yeah. uh, false back edge. Now, Robert McIntyre has been alone atop the leaderboard the entire time we've been on the air until right now. Ryan Fox making a huge move today. Six under. He has four holes remaining, and he has matched McIntyre in at 10 under. In We're going to have a number of guys make the cut. Yeah, the best so far is Mackenzie Hughes at seven under. Currently three back of the lead held by McIntyre and now Fox. Here's McElroy. Oh, it was a four all the way, Johnson. Yeah, Never great. a doubt. Great That's, play out of that bunker. That's just ridiculous, Johnson. What a four. Well, when you've got the skills like he he has, you can afford to do things and take chances where other players just can't. 